Hello guys, my name is Fox and welcome to part 66 of our The Restaurant campaign in Crusader Kings 2. Let's continue. So, in the previous episode we finished our war with... Oh, it's now called Sweden. Don't you say you became Catholic, please don't. Yeah, you don't. But yeah, uh, it's been swift just last time, so we finished the war with them, taking the Duchy of Smoland. And it's now controlled by my nephew. I hope he's happy. And we also started the war with Pest, because Pest... Uh, got attacked by the Byzantine Empire and actually uh, got uh, got weakened quite a lot, so that's great. And also we changed our ruler, so now we have a military guy with 26 marshal. So hopefully it's gonna increase the amount of armies we could raise by quite a lot. And also we are now trying to improve relations with people who have the right to vote. Yatvingia, um, Mustafi and Fathit. What the heck is this Duchess? Yatvingia, okay, I found Yatvingia at least. Let's go and improve with him. Oh, we cannot for some more time. Okay, let's wait. And yeah, by the way, we are gonna just siege these provinces, trying to get war score. Also, Pest is also getting attacked by Teutonic Order. Yeah, Pest is about to cease to exist, so I'm glad I actually jumped, jumped on them my have a chair while I have a chance. Uh, let's start reading the book. Uh, also, we have a lot of gold. Let's go and improve our capital once more. Uh, mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Train grounds look particularly great, so let's go and pump it up. Uh, gain depressed. Or go for a hunt with a bird and gain one diplomacy. Sounds great. Why the heck not? Uh, yeah, we have a guy from uh, from Pest in our prison, but he is unable to really get ransomed, so... I guess he's just gonna sit in here forever. Also, by the way, yeah, in the previous episode, Knights nice Hospitallers took over in Delusia. And this guy currently way over his vassal limit, so... When he's gonna die, something interesting gonna happen in here. Not particularly sure what. Maybe a couple of independent uh, dukes gonna, gonna like f appear, but who knows, we'll see. And yeah, I really want the Swedish king to die, just, uh, just so our uh, truce gonna finish and we could declare another one war for another one, another one duchy while we have a chance. Mm, because yeah, we might, we might run a uh, long time. Well, they're gonna become Catholic. His filthy Catholics. Live reinforcement in the Atviagi. Sense for that, actually. Okay, another one siege in that. Already up to 60%. Also, we have some other army season on us. Army of Teutonic Order. Go see your war goal. Don't you dare go here. Let's actually go and... What if we were to split off this army? I hope it's not gonna... Not gonna prevent my siege. It just prevented my siege. Fucking shit. Uh, okay. Uh, let's get this army out of here then. Yeah, I should not have split at this. Or I probably just chose the wrong army to move. But now, yeah. Now it's Thetons who, uh, who is in charge in here. But at least we managed to siege two holdings. That's good enough, I guess. Um, Petroth can marry. Okay. Our vassals are slightly upset about me raising levies, but they shouldn't be. Uh, at least, are we having siege leader in here? Still. Look like not, but what's gonna get him now? And we have the army of Teutonic Order in here as well. My goodness. We have 6,000 in here and 5,000 in here. That's why Holy Orders are overpowered as hell. I hate them. Also, our our moral, moral authority gets really freaking high thanks to all of these holy wars. 47% without any uh, without any holy sites controlled. That's quite quite potent. <laughs> our mm, chances to uh, convert the religion is still really low, but at least that's something. And yeah, uh, it's not that bad that Teutonic Order actually sieging stuff in here, because he can't take it. He just take uh, sieging it for some more war score. 
And when their war gonna finish, it's gonna get uh, unseaged and everything gonna be fine. But let's just hope that the Siege of Thames uh, gonna be enough for me to finish. Probably not. I should not have left. Yeah, that was a mistake, but I'm, I will try not to make them for the future. Nephew requires education. Go to the military guy. Not by myself. By myself, I would try to probably just educate my sons if I were to have some. Oh, the imbecile one, I definitely am going to try to educate. Inbred one, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Maybe that's because of all the years of inbreeding our family were doing. Maybe it's now starting to kick in, actually. <laughs> but we are strong ourselves, so let's hope that um, some of our children going to inherit this trait. And we're actually going to be able to, like, start voting for some some of them. Also, our diplomat should now be able to get moved. So let's go and improve relations in the Atvingia. Trying to get this guy to vote for our, for our guy. And not for the one I don't like to play, I wouldn't like to play for. Uh, so, another one, uh, another one puppy, thanks. This one gonna be a uh, hunter. Because I love hunting and because I'm strong. Also, what's this army? Army of Crimea. Is he also declaring pest? No. He's de defending against Maesia and Hollower for Maesia. Also, of course. First of all, Byzantine Emperor himself declared the war on pest, and now his vassals declaring war on pest. It's. Kind of stupid, but okay. And also Tonic Order and also me. So yeah, Pest is wrecked. I assume that the, Tot the Tonic Order trying to take, I don't know, Nitra maybe? Yeah. So they're gonna take Province of Gamer, I'm gonna take two of this. So Pest gonna have like three provinces left after all of this wars. Oh nice, improved relations with Yetwingia. Is first of free gonna be enough for you to change your mind? Probably not. I think <laughs> I think you would need like hundred. Mm -hmm. Also, how many troops could be raised from here now? Two hundred. Already not too bad at all. Considering that they are still not fully replenished. Uh, okay, another one siege there. Eighty percent. Yeah, siege in temps not gonna be enough, unfortunately. But we could wait for Titans to finish their war, so shouldn't be too much of a problem. My friend, my kinsman is legal age. He became brilliant strategist. That's great. Uh, and yeah, now your martial ability is better. Okay, great. We have a daughter who needs education. Let's go and give you to my vassal. Uh, yes, yeah, this girl. Why not? A quarter named Natro Nai appears in the court, a Jewish exile. Okay. Mm -hmm. How's Crimea looking? They haven't, they still having, yeah, still having like about 2000. The fund is actually not that scary, but I would prefer to not fight them if possible. Also, Goose, are we still allied with you or not? Uh, no, not anymore. Okay, so we probably should start getting that back, maybe. So, your son and my daughter, how about a betrothal? Sounds great, yeah? It's gonna take a long time for them to... for this marriage to kick in, but... I can't use my daughter for much else anyway. Also, talking about daughters, I need... Some more concubines. So let's go and take some young women. Actually, have a lustful Sominuska in our prison. Yeah, let's take her. And actually, we do not really have much of our kin to choose from. They are all quite old, unfortunately. So let's just take whoever we have in here. All the Sominuskas. 75 prestige for that, actually. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Also talking about our prisoners, anyone could be ransomed? No. Okay. So we have 89%. 
Unfortunately, two of these holdings sieged by the Teutonic Order, which is preventing us from... Actually... <laughs> we are still receiving second war score, which is kind of weird. Even though not all of our province... Uh, not all of these provinces... Are controlled by us directly, but... Okay. If it's considered as fully sieged, I'm fine with that. So... Oh, some more tithe, that's awesome. How's our construction in the capital? Halfway through. We could upgrade the second uh, uh, the second building here as well. Like, uh, give me... Mm, I don't know, militia training ground. Mm, Bacteria Nasty is now known as the Cruel. Why? I'm not that cruel. I know I have taken pest for n no real reason, but come on. It's meant to happen. Okay. So, anyone else around here? I have a CB on. I have CB on all of these guys, but it mostly make tributary, which I'm not interested in. Okay. Okay, okay. Actually, our uh, our ruler changed, so we now should be able to declare war on Sweden yet again. Uh, so, yeah, as soon as we're gonna finish the war with Pest, we're gonna do this. I actually forgot about this, uh, about things working this way as well. So, yeah, and also we're gonna probably create Dutch of Thames in here. I think I sh we should be able to do this. Or not create, but usurp it from the guy who's currently controlling it. Uh, yeah, Pest gets wrecked. And after that, I'm actually not gonna have much people to attack there also. This province got converted to Zoroastrian and Persian, which is sweet. Anything else got converted? Mm, not really. Okay. Still kind of great. Reduces the chances of a uh, new Jewish rebellion, which is not, not bad at all to have. If only Transylvania were not Orthodox, it would be so easier. I would, have, I would be able to take so much lands from you. Oh well, not gonna happen. Or at least not, mm, not right now. Only when, <laughs> or only uh, at the time when I'm gonna be able to handle. What the? F oh, actually, it's not that bad. I thought Agla is gonna have all of that, but we have now Muktarit in here. Oh, there it is. Shea finally appeared. So we we have now Muktarit guy in here who is Shia and Aglabits who are Sunnis, I guess. So that's great. Uh what's not great is that Aglabits actually taking a lot of Africa in here. And they're probably gonna continue expanding and giving uh, uh, getting more power. Which is not particularly great at all. But at least that's there we have uh, that we have Shia split in here. Means that this guy's gonna have some conflicts, which gonna be helpful, because they're uh, they're gonna just weaken each other. Not that it particularly concerns me right now, because I can't really declare any wars around here. But for the future, it would be great. Uh, also talking about future, how's this thing looking here? Pratihara, why do you have green color? You're not supposed to be green color. Hmm. Okay. And Snell's interesting here. Karakoja, are you still... Yeah, you are still feudal. Okay. Kyrgyz are still tribal, I assume. Or nomadic, rather. And yeah, our war with Pest is about to finish. One more month. For the Tekken War score, there it is. Thanks for the lands. Oh. Ah. I made this mistake again. Because the Tonic Order had these two provinces, or these two, uh, two holdings occupied, I did not receive them in a peace deal. That's stupid. But... Oh well. If I were to actually create the Dutch of Thames, I would have uh, de jure claims on this. And my vassals would be able to declare it on Pest when they would want to. So, it's not as bad, but it's pretty stupid mistake. But oh well. Let's create a guy in this city and uh, in the Thames as well. 
I could keep actually some of this for myself, but I don't think I want to have it. So let's go and create the Dutch of Thames. And now give some holdings to some people. Uh, Thames and Bucks. You're gonna receive Bucks. You're gonna receive Thames and you're content, so you're gonna receive the Dutch as well. Just in case. Uh, set repair of Thames. Okay. Looks perfect. We actually have a pretty sizable... Uh, pretty huge piece of land in here. So, now we could stand down our troops. And now we should be able to declare war on Sweden, I'm pretty sure. Hold the Grand Tournament. Uh, I don't think so. Yeah. Hold war for Wester Gotland or Oster Gotland. You have 2,000 troops. Are you currently not at war with anyone? You are. Defending against someone's host and against and against someone's subjugation. Okay. And I currently could raise 3,000 myself. Plus 1,000 need to be replenished. Not too bad, but I actually expected more when uh, when getting a military ruler. God damn it, Pest. Why do you... Or God damn it, Titans, actually, who siege this stuff. Why do you have to make it nasty? But yeah. Considering that Pest is gonna lose these lands and these lands, we could always declare a war for these two holdings. And it should not be particularly hard to take them. And my vassals could do it as well on their own, I think. So, shouldn't be too bad. Should not be. Okay, so should I just declare war on Sweden ASAP? <coughs> Excuse me. They shouldn't be able to really defend themselves. Uh, which one touchy do I want? They're actually equally fine. This one has three provinces. Ostergotland has three provinces as well. So, doesn't really matter, but actually if I were to get Wester Gotland, I would be able to declare a war on this guy, Orkney, who is still... Uh, oh, god damn it. The Counts, the Count is Norse, but the up guy is Catholic. What about Opland or... Oh, it's also Orkney. Stop conversing to Catholics, you scum. It's not right religion for you. Not at all. Okay, then it doesn't matter much. Which one I'm gonna take? Uh, just for the sake of convenience. Actually, what kind of allies do you, do you have? 2000 uh, armies is actually kind of sizable and it's... Considering that you also still... Uh, you also still gonna get more when I'm gonna take you. For defending versus infidels and stuff. So we have Nordland in here who's gonna protect you. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, I guess I could handle it. How many boats do we have? 29. Okay. 200 troops from there. And no. And no. Oh, yeah, I just declared it. Why am I being so scared? It shouldn't be particularly hard. A nearby Germanic rulers might uh, join him in the, in the defense, but they would not. They would obviously not. And I think we could handle it by just by personal levies, maybe. Uh, where is the rest of my personal levies? Is it 3000? It is actually 3000, okay. And... No, I'm still gonna raise uh, vassals. Just in case. Not the farther away ones. And not these ones with one troop each. But all of these guys we're definitely gonna raise. And boats. 29 is actually not particularly great. What better than nothing. And you just sit here for now. Try not to get killed, please. Uh, <laughs> we have 29 galleys, but this thing shows 30. What's... What's wrong with you? <laughs> no idea. 
But okay. Uh, let's actually also take as many arms on this boat as possible. I don't know. Just... I think actually dropping them off in the moor gonna be easier than trying to have like landed uh, landed from the water. And also let's go try to engage as soon as possible before they're gonna be able to do anything. Flat terrain expert. It's planes. Okay. We have actually a great guy in here. Military or inspiring, inspiring leader and a flat terrain guy. That's kind of perfect. And I'm gonna get Cavalry person in here because we do not really have much cavalry and we're gonna have a penalty on our light troops uh, Let's get more guys on the boats And just get them off in the moor <laughs> Actually, it is already time for me to have a break guys, so I'm gonna do this and we're gonna continue our a war against Sweden in the next episode. So, if you enjoyed watching this, you could leave a like. If you want to see more, you could subscribe. And if you want to leave a comment, you should definitely do it. And I would answer you as soon as I could. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.